What's up, every? Whoa! <laughs> Let me try that again. What's up, everybody? My name is Jared Kaufman. I'm a 20-year-old framer in Colorado. I'm doing mostly custom homes, but today I wanted to talk about the Badger uh, Carpenter set of tool bags. I'm um, just kind of do a little overview of these. So a few things that I really like about them right off the bat is the classic hammer sleeve and cat's paw sleeve, just like that. Those are awesome. One thing I've noticed, I noticed it pretty quick, is the cat's paw sleeve is in pretty far. It gets caught in my pants and actually will start to fram over time. Um, they do make ones that have it further up. It's not in so far and it actually is more accessible like this. I think I honestly just ordered them wrong, but you win some, you lose some. So something else I really like, all the pockets have these little dividers which are perfect for putting your phone in there a lot of guys will put construction calculators in there the inside pocket also has two which i just throw you know the occidental tool sheath and a laser measure in there and then it has tool slots on the back this side square slot has a another sleeve there i've never used it but maybe i'll find a use for it someday um, the belt is really nice, really comfortable, has the cobra buckle, um, super easy to do, pretty easy to adjust, and then all the bags attach with Velcro as well, which makes them, uh, they stay in place, they're not going to be shifting around while you're using them. Uh, something else you may notice is I have a couple of diamond back accessories on the Badger bags. They're pretty, um, they're pretty compatible. They clip onto the belt great, um, it all goes together pretty easily. They, they play nicely, I guess you could say. Um, the suspender rings are nice, they're wide. Um, I kind of like the thinner ones just since I use pants suspenders so they can slide left and right. It honestly really doesn't matter and it doesn't bother me enough to change anything but um, if I could pick, I would probably pick smaller ones. Um, the bit holder up top is just elastic. It goes all the way through, so you can see the extension can go through, but you can also see I have a lot of bits sitting in the bottom of that pocket. And I can tell you right now, that's not where I put them at the start. I, they start up here, and they just work their way down there throughout the day, and they wind up in the bottom. So I've just started leaving them there. Um, another thing that I did wish is I wish there was more, I wish there was a regular cat's paw holder on the left pouch because that actually is usually where I prefer to put my chisel because then I don't have to worry about hitting, making contact with the bottom of the bow, bags and then putting a hole in it. Um, but these ones didn't have it so I just figured something else out and that's totally fine. Um, this hammer loop in the back is kind of odd. It's like tapered downwards. So it gets tighter at the bottom. So it's kind of tight for a hammer. You can see I have to kind of fight it in there. But it's also at the same time too big to put my Stabila in there. It can pull through. I Has it, before. I thought it could pull through. <laughs> but there it is. So it's, I don't trust it enough to put that there even though again, that's where I had put it on my pre bags in the past. Um, Overall though, really great set of bags, super light, super comfortable. The pockets, um, like the main pockets are way more open. I had a set of Diamondback Artisans before this, and literally I would put my hand like this, and the pouch would be touching me. It was probably the equivalent of that, as opposed to that. So you can see this is much, much more open. Same goes for this pocket, especially if you take out these things in these spot slots, that'll open up just as much. Um, but I kind of utilize them as tool spots. So all in all, they're a great set of bags. I love them. I think when they finally wear out and die in several years, I'll probably buy another pair. How do they compare to other bags? Um, I think they're my favorite so far. Differences would be, the big thing was, like I said, with the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks were small pouches. These are much bigger like that. The Diamondbacks did have the other cat's paw holders um, where I could put the I could put the Stabila on the outside and my chisel and a cat's paw if I wanted, even though I had the cat's paw sheath here. 
Um, what about compared to the Occidentals? Compared to the Occidentals, the big difference for me is they're lighter. That's the biggest thing for me. So the Occidentals are, you'll never find a more durable set of tool bags than the Occidental leathers. There's guys who've really been wearing the same pair for 30 years and they're just as good. These, you see some 30 year old pairs and they don't look pretty. They will never last as good as a leather pair. But the thing is, I'd rather buy a new set of bags every five years and carry a pound and a half or two pounds less of just raw weight in material, um, especially for something that's you know light. It dries quick if it gets wet, things like that. You can throw it in the wash to clean them. So, how's the belt compared to Diamondbacks? Yes, this one is bigger. I had the four-inch one before. This one has full like. It's, I think, six inches or something, but yep. a lot more back support there, um, which is nice. Do you notice a difference between that and the four inch? Definitely. And I do know Diamondback has a six inch option. I, I, I never used it. Um, the belt is a little bit off center, which I, I kind of liked because it never really bothered me, but I had some friends where the belt was in the middle and it would pinch them. Um, so this is, they actually offset it on purpose to avoid that. Is the uh, tape measure uh, pouch too deep? The tape measure pocket is pretty deep. I actually put this wood wedge in there to shim it up because if I didn't have that in there and I just dropped this in, it's actually not bad because it's kind of conformed, but if I push it all the way in, it takes me a second to get it out. So I put that in there just in case and then I actually just clip my tape on the edge of it so it stays up and easy to grab. So How's the storage compared to Occidental? Pretty comparable? Um, it's, yeah, it's pretty comparable to Occidentals as far as what you can store. Occidentals are a little bit bigger, but not, unless you literally need to carry like a minimum of six pounds literally of fasteners, then that's not something that's a game changer. The Occidentals can hold an insane amount of fasteners, but it's... At the end of the day, so can these. Exactly, and usually it ends up being more than you want to have that weight on your body anyway. So these are, I would say, the perfect medium as far as storage. They're the perfect medium as far as durability and weight, and they're super comfortable, really great organization without being restrictive. Agreed. Like you have to put tools in a certain spot. Um, yeah, I don't know. We, I really like them. I think I'll keep keep buying more of them in the future yeah that's that's all i got on the badgers i hope that was informative and beneficial um, i know when i was buying them there wasn't a lot of information that i felt like was pretty thorough but yeah just coming from one professional to another or someone who's curious i hope this was helpful and yeah i would definitely recommend them a, a million percent